Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today I'm doing a tropical nail theme and I hope you like it. I'm using She Modern Foil Art and what that is, it's just like nail foil if you've ever used that, only it's shapes and it's really cool. You can get them in any color you want and or you can just get them in black and you can color them in there's a bunch of different ways to use them so this is one of the ways and i'll show you two coloring options on this one um you don't have to color them in you can just use them like you do foil paper the possibilities are just endless they're they're really fun to use so i hope you like them um tina did send me these as a free sample but i have purchased things from her in fact i just purchased I just made a big order today <laughs> so I'm really excited about getting those and doing some more nail art because these are really kind of fun but anyways let me stop talking let's get into the video I'll show you the picture and then I'll show you how I created it so let's get started First, I'm using Wave Gel's um, base coat, and today I'll be using the Shiny No Clean Top Coat. And I will be using Purple Pepper and Clean Slate. So I have two coats of everything on my fingernails. Everything's been top coated except for this nail right here. It still has the tacky layer. I'll be using the plastic mixing cabinets that comes in with the She Modern uh, glitters and stickers. Oops, grabbed the wrong color. <laughs> I got it now. All right, so and I will be using this black hollow iridescent sparkling glitter to go on this black nail right here. For this part, I can just tap a little bit right on the nail. And pat it in, smooth it out. If anything gets off, I can always just grab it with my finger and put it back on the nail. Let's see if we need any more. You don't have to cover the entire nail with this glitter. <laughs> just a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just putting it right in the tacky layer. Okay, and then when I am done, I will put a top coat on it and cure it. To remove the excess glitter on my finger and on the mixing canvas, I'm just gonna use my lint roller. I can also do that around the edges of my finger to pick up the loose glitter. With a brush, I can just brush it out of the crevice. And I can add the top coat and just wash away the rest. And then I can clean off the brush and my rent roller. And the residue. Okay, so I am just going to run some top coat over the top and then just wipe off um, my brush. Okay, now that that finger is complete, I'm going to use a bit of stamping and I'm going to use my favorite Beach Please plate from Westonia. Okay, so I'm going to be using this Hit the Bottle, Seize the Day. I wonder if this is one of the neons, I'm not sure. <laughs> and I have my Moyu London Stamper and Scraper. So I'm going to use this leaf right here. And I picked up a good image. So 
So now I am just going to place that on my fingernail right here. Perfect. Now I'm just going to top coat that. Now I'm going to take these flower nail art and this is a, a mixed collection here. And I did get to pick these out for review. So what comes in these packages are the mixing canvas and then you get samples of some other stick arts and you get a, um, a flattener. So that's what comes in that and then the stickers. And it comes with a sheet of waxy paper in case you want to color a bunch in at one time and save them later for stickers. Awesome idea. And, um, and then this is just to protect it so you can move them in and out of the poly bag when you're finished. So we'll just put all of this to the side. And what I did is I took a little mini album and I've been saving my collection in here. And here um, on this page here, I have some stickers that I made. So, and then some of the samples and my stencils. So these make handy little things to organize your, your foil art. Okay, so the next thing to do is to to cut your rows into strips. Don't cut them off because this is a, a good thing to have them connected to until you've used them all up. So I'm gonna go with this size right here. I have a designated stamper here that I got off of eBay for $2 and I have flipped it upside down so it's flat. And then you just take your flowers and just pop them over like this. And I'll show you a couple of different ways to color them in. Right now we're just going to wait, make decals. Now you don't have to color these in. You can actually get them in any color you want. And you can apply them just like foil. However, I'm, I'm kind of crafty <laughs> and I want to color mine in. And I'm going to use it with this finger right here. So... Um, this is what I'm doing today. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of, um, I'm going to use, it's actually snow ice, the light pole is wrong, snow ice on this mixing canvas right here. And I'm going to use that to color in my little flowers. Now you want to keep this very thin, so I'm going to use a little fine art brush. And all I have to do is just dab it a little bit to color in the leaves. There's probably enough on this one flower to color in the whole, the whole thing. You want to make sure that you stay inside the lines. I might need a little bit more. And we can flip it over to make sure that we've colored the whole thing in. Ooh, gosh, this looks so awesome. <laughs> okay, so we colored that one in. So I'm just going to color in one more. 
so that I can save it for later. Actually, I'm just going to cut it loose. I don't really need it hanging out there. There we go. Let's cut that loose and I'll just color the other one in. Okay, so the real trick is to keep everything very flat, very small, and you got them colored in. You can just check you know, over a colored piece of paper or your hand to make sure you got all the spots colored in. So now this is wave gel, and I do know wave gel only needs 30 seconds to cure, and if you over cure it, these do not work. So I'm just going to cure this for 30 seconds and then we'll come back. While that's curing, I'm going to clean off the mixing canvas and I'm going to do that with a little cotton round and some acetone. And you can also use tin foil. I know a lot of times I use tin foil because then you can just throw it away. <laughs> you don't have to do any cleanup, but this is here, so I decided to use it. Now that this is cured, we're going to have to add some top coat. And you need a, a no clean top coat. And so for right now, I'm just going to take a little thin part on my brush. And I'm just going to dab it on top here. Put some more over here. Then I'm just going to, you know, drag the top coat around. You want to make sure that the edges are completely covered because if they're not, they, they won't lift up. You won't have an edge of your flower. So you want to make sure that the edges are all covered with the top coat. And they're, they're kind of white. And when they turn clear, then you know you've got the top coat covering them. And you want to keep that as thin as possible as well so that your decal is not big and bulky. So now we're going to cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this up. And I'm going to lay it on top of here because um, I think the stiffer the bottom is, the better. You can try doing it on here, but I haven't ever had very much good luck doing that. Then what you do is you just scratch at an edge. And then lift up. Perfect. We'll do the same thing here. Just scratch at one edge a little bit, and as soon as it starts to pop up, just grab it with your tweezers. Oh, is that gorgeous or what? I don't know. <laughs> it's just, just so amazing. <laughs> it just amazes me all the time. Okay, so I flipped them over, and I've got some nail glue, and I'm just going to make them into little stickers with the nail glue. And so I'll just put a little bit of nail glue on my mixing canvas and then grab it with, um, this thing will work, my little dotting tool. And you can't see because it's all white. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm putting it on here. It's white. And then when it dries to clear, which we still won't be able to see, Gosh, didn't think this one out, did I? <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll just have to guess. You know, it, it'll be it'll be dry in like a minute or two. While that's drying, I can clean up and put my stickers away. So, we just sandwich them in between the plastic and the black paper backing, and slip those right back into your poly bag to keep them all nice and safe. And then I can just slip this into my album, my little album. Okay, these look like they're dry enough, so I can just pop them right onto my, maybe they want to be picked up. Yeah, 
Let's stick them on there. Yep, there they go. Now you know why I have a designated stamper. Because <laughs> you're poking at it and you're doing all kinds of stuff. So it doesn't matter. These things are like, I don't know, like $2. So nice and cheap. So now we've got them here. So there's two ways we can color this in. Now I actually want a white outer image to my flower. So I'm just going to color in the inside um, pink. Now I am going to show you two different ways. One way is using a Sharpie and the other way is actually using the gel polish that I have and you can just use whatever you have on hand. I actually don't have very many Sharpies because every time, <laughs> every time I go get them on sale, they're, they're not there anymore. So I just, I don't even use Sharpies. So I just use the gel because I found you can do the exact same thing with gel. So I'll show you both ways. Okay, now this is one of the ultra fine point ones. And I'm just going to color right on the top and just kind of make it you know, like a gradient flower middle. There. I like how that turned out. Perfect. Now to do the gel one, I am just going to put a little bit of gel on this um, mixing canvas. And, oh, I put away the mixing canvas. I'm using tinfoil. <laughs> okay, so to color in this second flower here, I'm going to use a little um, brush. And I'm just going to pick up the gel on the brush, just a very little bit, and lightly color in the center, just like I did with the Sharpie. And I like this. I actually like this method a little bit better because I can match the color of my other nails. You know, the flower accents can, at, can match the other the polish that I'm actually painting my other nails with. And it is pretty easy just using a really fine brush. And then I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds. Perfect. Now my little decal is ready. And I, I didn't put a top coat on here. I hope I not made a mistake in doing that. Because I think I can just lift this off and stick it right on there and then put the top coat on. And I have to have too much stuff on my nails. So that's what we're going to try. So we've got the sticky... On the back, just gonna position my flower here like this. Let's see, I think I'm gonna wanna cut part of it off a little bit because it's gonna run into the edge of my finger. So I'm just gonna lift this up. Okay, it is going to pull up <laughs> my stamped edge. So I'm just going to snip that perfect because you don't want it to run right into the bottom you don't want it you want to be able to put palette you know the top coat around it so that it stays put there we go perfect oh, you guys look at that <laughs> Okay, little things just make me so happy. My gosh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> these these little nail foils are so much fun. Obviously, I think they're fun. So, 
Oh my gosh, I can't stop staring at my nail. <laughs> okay, well, let me top coat it and then we'll come back and we'll stare at it together. Okay, so now I still have this little sticker here that I can put in my album and save for later. And if I'm on a roll and I want to color more in, I can just fill up my whole little sticker sheet here and save them for later. And that way it'll be just really quick and easy. Okay, so here is the finished look and I'm in love with how this Manny came out. Sorry for the short nails. I don't know what's going on here. Ugh. But I, and I couldn't resist doing a little bit of tropical. What I would suggest is that you put the top coat over the stamping before you try to adhere the sticker to it in case you make a mistake. Not a big deal if you're using gel because if you do make a mistake and you have to lift it up and you ruin all your stamping, you can just wipe it off with acetone and start over. You don't have to repaint your nail, which is a good thing, which is completely why I've went to gel polish when doing nail art, especially nail art videos, because if I mess it up, I can just wipe it away and I don't have to wait hours for nail polish to dry. So, oh my gosh, I just love looking at this. I couldn't resist doing a tropical, even though it is freezing cold here in Wisconsin and it is still snowing. It snowed again today. Are we ever going to get to spring? Looking at my fingernails, I just wish I was on a island by the ocean or a pool and drinking a fruity drink <laughs> and wearing my favorite flowery dress <laughs> sundress oh, that's that's what i think about when i look at my nails and i just i can't stop looking at that flower because i am so impressed about how these foil art works oh my gosh i just love them so much <laughs> Um, I love them as much as I like stamping. And you know, I like stamping. I like fast and easy nail art. And these are amazing and customizable because I can customize that flower color to be whatever I want. So anyways, enough of my blabbing. <laughs> if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. <laughs> and that's it for now. So see you later. Bye.